Hi everybody, it's RPG Grandma. And today we're gonna to look at uh, why referees, DMs, etc. do recaps and why people take notes in virtual games and also in in-person games. And um, the last episode was knowing the difference between a real role-playing game and what you're getting when you play a video game. And I'm sure I ruffled some feathers, but I will maintain forever that there is a big, vast difference between those games. I, mean, I could go into it more in, de in depth in 10 minutes, trust me. Um, and I will die on that hill, just telling you. And I like video games, but to me, the uh, heavy lifting of the, that is required from your brain, way up here with role-playing games, even if you're using a module, and way down here with a video game. I'm, I'm sorry, that is what I believe, and I will die there. I'll die, die defending that position. Um, so, why do DMs do recap? Well, let's let's look at what what's going on. In in-person play, recaps serve the purpose of regardless of what game system you're playing, what the genre of the setting is, of telling the group it's time to put on our imagination. It's time to turn that on. And it gives a a, a an actual cue to the brain to go, oh yes, we do this every time we start. So brain power out. It's just a way to do that and to remind people where you left off. And that's exactly why it appears in the virtual games as well, but with some added uh, caveats. When they're streamed and put online, the recap is there not just for the benefit of the players, but it's there for the benefit of the audience. Like, if you like, oh, what's this? Click that, and it's like session six of some game. Um, you're not going to know at all what's going on if somebody doesn't say, and in last week's episode, you know, in last week's session, right, and, and give you a paragraph. You, you're going to have no clue, all right? But in real life, I would like to point out, you know, real in present because it's all real life, but, you know, together, people. Um, there are referees who don't do recaps. There is no rule that says you have to. Players, you you were here last week. You should know what you were doing and where we left off. Let's get going. I mean, there are people like that. So, so that brings us to why well, take notes. <laughs> it's, it's streamed. It's video. Why are these people taking notes? Well, one, it's a good habit to develop if you play role-playing games. Because what if you do have the uh, referee who just like, I'm not, I, I got, I, my time is precious and I cannot waste it on recaps. We got to get playing. Okay. What, what if you're in that situation? Well, then y'all better be taking notes. Period. Uh, because there's going to be information you're not going to remember. And you'll be able to look up and go, oh, yes, we were in the temple. <laughs> and the temple is this wide, this long, this tall. It has all the stuff in it. You know, there's, and between enough people at the table taking notes, anything you missed that you didn't think was important, but then later is important, somebody else will have taken a note on. It's called teamwork. Remember, you're a group of people adventuring. And in real life, if there was like, say five people doing this dangerous, dangerous thing, uh, going to the temples where there's zombies and undead and who knows what, right? Uh, monsters going off to slay a dragon, whatever you're doing. Exploring unknown space and there's strange alien creatures on planets. If you don't have teamwork, y'all gonna die. It's just that simple. Your little paper person's going to die for sure. Okay? And in real life, you would probably bite the bullet. All right? So, kick the bucket. So, teamwork is a survival 
motif in real life and in role playing games. And so you, you need to employ it. I'm, I'm just saying. So taking notes allows all our different minds, all our different ways of thinking. Different people are going to see different things as important, and they're going to write that down. And then when something comes up, one somebody in the group will be like, "Aha! I knew that was going to be important." You know, it's like the um, uh, what is that? That's alien movie. Um, was it Encounters of the Third Kind or whatever, where the guy is always saying, "This means something," right? Right? You know, <laughs> yeah. it's. It's like that. And nobody else has seen it in the movie. Well, you know, if you have four or five people all all thinking to themselves over different things, this means something and they're writing it down, then the likelihood is that your 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 party is going to have a higher chance of survival. So that's why people are taking notes. They're listening, they're taking notes. They also sometimes they do have something they want to investigate. And they're, remember I said there's a lot more structure to the virtual games. So they're taking turns and they've made a little note down there that they're going to do something because they have a question in their head, but maybe they don't want to say something like, uh, you know, they don't want to use the words what, where, when, how, just randomly to the DM because they're trying to play like our style of play where you don't do that but maybe they're just gonna ask the dm maybe maybe that table that virtual play it's okay to to ask questions more like the style of play that's often in the rule books that's not the best it's you know in my opinion my opinion but um it works nonetheless and as far as getting information and they're going to ask the dm a question but it's not their turn yet and so they're, 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 they don't want to walk over the other person who's, who's pursuing another line of investigation. So, yes, you investigate in a role-playing game. That's what you do. You, you investigate a lot of stuff. You have to collect information. And then you've got to remember that information, and that's why you take notes. I... I, I, I don't know why that's confusing, but there you go. Note-taking is good. Your teacher told you that in elementary school and in high school. And if you went to college, in college, people learn to take notes. Paper, pencil, paper, pen, take notes. DMs too, you need to take notes. <laughs> Just... Really, I just want people to have a good time playing the role-playing games. I, I, I don't care the style that you play. I honestly don't. I do want to make that clear. I want you to play role-playing games. Because the more you play the games, the more you explore the different ways of playing the games, the more your imagination will kick in. It's so fun. We'll have to talk about the, uh, also creativity and how to, how to get that rolling. Finding your muse, I guess. But uh, the next video I think I'm going to do is maybe the good and the bad and the ugly uh, content creation live streaming virtual virtual games. Um, and uh, I think we'll do that one next. But are you following me? Notes help you remember stuff. They help create that, that group mind. They help the group survive. Um, notes DM taking helps you maintain stuff. Helps you participate in the group mind. Helps you know what's going on. Recaps are good. So everyone's brains turn on. But you don't have to do recaps. Nobody's going to make you do anything you don't want to do as a DM. So there you go. It's your guys' table. Whether it's virtual or in person. So everybody have a great day. Uh, peace. Hope these videos are helping explain things that you see in on the internet or have experienced in person why people do certain things. Uh, talk to you all later. Bye.